Welcome back to my video series on butt augmentation. Today we'll see a uh, butt augmentation with butt implants and fat transfer. Alright, so here we uh, are doing our butt augmentation. We've already finished all of our liposuction of her uh, love handles, flanks, back area here. You can even see a little hole here where we lipo this, this little sacral fat pad. And so we've marked out where her butt is. This is where her butt implants are going to go. You can see the circles here. So what we'll do is we'll make our two uh, gluteal incisions on, on each side so we have access to the butt. We'll put our butt implants in. We're going to do a 548cc uh, silicone round uh, implant and then we'll uh, fill it in with uh, some fat transfer to fill in our hips and kind of do any fine touching we want of the uh, implants. So, All right, let's get started. 15. Boom, boom. Let's do this. All right, hold on. All right. Butt incision. So here you can see we've uh, made our incision through the skin. Here's the normal fatty tissue. I mean, uh, she has a little bit of butt to already begin with, so we're just coming down through that pretty meticulously so we can keep our field really clean and uh, easy to visualize everything. You can see that superficial fascia, which we'll put back together when we close everything. So here you can see this white glimmer which is actually her uh, fascia and so that's the uh, strong covering over the muscle and so we'll open that fascia and there you see her gluteus maximus muscle. You can actually see her butt shaking a little bit in the background here which means that we're in the right place. So we'll just open this up so you can kind of see everything. So here we can see the little septi of, uh, between the muscle fibers and, and then that white strong fascia. You can see it's actually a really strong layer. And we'll just keep opening that up all the way along. All right, so now we've uh, created our, our pocket here all the way around where, where we've marked out. So now I'll just put this uh, sizer in. So the nice thing about this is we can check our pocket. We've already decided we're doing a 548cc uh, uh, implant, but what we're going to do is uh, make sure the pocket's just perfect so that we don't have to take the implant in and out. Say that, please. 300, 360, 420, 480, Forty. Five forty-eight. So that pocket actually looks perfect for her. So that'll fit her really well, and then we can still close it, protect the skin here, and looks good. All right, sounds good. So here we have our uh, Keller funnel, and this is most often used for uh, uh, breast implants and breast augmentations, but I use it for our butt implants as well for a couple things. One, it lets us minimize the scar that we have an uh, incision to uh, put the butt implant to. It keeps the butt implant from touching any of the skin around the, uh, the buttock, and three, makes it uh, a little bit easier for me. Put that there. It's got some gel on the inside, which will Activate by wetting it with this betadine antibiotic solution. I'm going to take our buttock implant here, dip it in some betadine antibiotic, 548 cc's, put it in our fancy little Keller funnel here, our little baking instruments. Come here. We got our PA Extraordinary Gear Bear holding the incision open for us. And then we just easily do our little pie filling. Our implant goes in nicely. You can see the great shape she has there. All right. So here we've completed our uh, butt augmentation with the implants. And you can see uh, how the incisions are well hidden uh, below her, her butt crease in here. One little incision here, we did liposuction so that our panties will sit nice like that. 
Uh, and now we're going to do some fat transfer to fill out this hip area, round out a little bit of the bottom butt here, and just kind of do some fine tuning. It's kind of like the icing on the cake. All right, so this is nice because we can keep the implants up high so that we can, you know, give her a lift, give her that great shape, and then we'll um, still round out the bottom part of this butt. Now we fill the bottom, then I'll come up around the top and just kind of fill out a little bit of this here just to make a nice, great transition. Fat does a couple things besides, you know, just adding some volume stuff. It also softens the implant a little bit as a lot of the people that get butt implants uh, tend to be our thinner patients that, that typically don't have a lot of fat, so they're thin already, but this lets us use kind of the bulk of the augmentation with the, the implant and then basically just doing the finishing touches with the fat in terms of softening the implant, filling some of these hips and other areas. This is one of the key parts. You can see here dip here that she had at the beginning. The butt implants made it a lot better, but now we're gonna finish filling this with, with our fat transfer here. Really kind of round her out. You can really see where that hip's filling out nice. Nice round hips, Gilbert. Can all be blessed with natural hips like yours, Gilbert. Those these, these hips don't lie, sir. No, they do not. No, they do not, Gilbert. So now we've finished our uh, butt augmentation. You can see her implants are in here. Uh, we've done the fat transfer. You can see how we've really filled out our hips, the upper portion here. You can see how when this liposuction all settles, that's really going to give her a phenomenal shape to all of that. So now we'll put some derma bond to cover her incisions and uh, we'll be all done. So after her surgery, you can see her results here uh, about three weeks after her surgery. You can see the transformation in terms of her flanks, love handles, abdomen, and the projection uh, uh, of her butt from the implants and fat transfer. Uh, well, thanks for joining us today and stay tuned for more of our video series to come.